Last week, Georgia landed the services of five-star offensive tackle Broderick Jones. He's the number two rated offensive tackle in the 2020 class and a five-star prospect. When I asked Kirby Smart about why it was so important to land a player of Jones, especially given that Andrew Thomas and Isaiah Wilson are headed to the NFL next year, he sort of brushed back the idea that Jones or, fi- or four-star tackle Tate Ratledge were going to come in and potentially play right away. With Andrew Thomas and Isaiah Wilson both going off to the NFL early, how important was it for you guys to make sure that you retain the uh, commitment of Broderick Jones? Well, it was a lot more important a year ago to sign Xavier Trust. It was a lot more important a year ago to sign Warren McClendon because when you have Andrew Thomas and Isaiah, and Isaiah Wilson, you, you understand there's an opportunity for these guys to leave. Um, I, I'm not a big believer that the next guy's just going to walk in and play for Andrew Thomas. And I say, well, I, you have to plan things a year out. So really we're looking at this saying, okay, these guys are going to have to be ready to play possibly next year, but really the next year. And the same thing at defensive back. You know, we got a lot of defensive backs coming back this season. We got a lot of them. There's some good football players. But we're a year away from what could look like the O-line because we have some potential guys that come out. So what are you doing to develop the ones you're signing now is more my concern. You know, it would be foolish for me to sit here and think that two of these tackles we just signed are going to walk in here and play. You guys will print that, but I'm also a realist that that's probably not going to happen. Based on the history of the SEC, you do the study how many freshman offensive tackles I've played. That's, that's tough to find. You know what I mean? It's hard to do. Now, if they're the athletic and they're the best guys or we have injuries, those guys will provide us great depth. And I certainly think a lot of these guys we just signed are talented enough to come in and help us. But they're, they're not mid-year guys, and uh, they'll have to come in and compete for it. So I took Smart's advice, and I went through some of the recent recruiting classes and saw where some of the top freshman offensive linemen in the country ended up playing as freshmen. From 2015 to 2019, there were 48 prospects who ranked among the top 60 prospects in the 247 composite rankings for each year. Of those 48, only five started every game when they were healthy as freshmen at one of the tackle positions. Those five, Mitch Hyde of Clemson, Jonah Williams of Alabama, Wanya Morris of Tennessee, Panay Sewell of Oregon, and Andrew Thomas of Georgia. But there's even something that separates Thomas from those other four. He's the only one to start every game his freshman year that also wasn't an early enrollee. It's worth pointing out that Jones and Ratledge aren't early enrollees either. So the expectation for them to come in and potentially be the next Andrew Thomas might not exactly be such a sure thing. And in digging through some of those numbers, we also learned that it's far more likely for a player to redshirt as a freshman than it is for him to start every game like Thomas. 19 of those 48 prospects ended up redshirting their freshman year, including Isaiah Wilson. Wilson was a fellow member of Georgia's 2017 recruiting class and actually a higher rated prospect than Thomas. Smart's right to temper his expectations because as history shows, it's quite unlikely that Jones or Ratledge literally becomes the next Andrew Thomas. For Dog Nation, I'm Connor Riley. For more Dog Nation videos, check out youtube.com slash dognation.